Last time, the professor's super sticky treacle vapour had everybody stuck. They stuck it out while he stuck to his guns and came up with his super non-stick spray and unstuck them. At which point, they really came unstuck. And even now it's all over, someone's still getting stick. You've let that ginger beer run dry again, haven't you? Uh, well, get on and fill it. Just a minute, my laddo. Where do you think you're going? Why? Uh, You've not polished them parking rollers, neither. And I want to see my face in them. B and if you think you're taking time off to feed that stupid moobock, you can think again. Uh... I don't know. I get more work out of a stuffed boggart. It's about time you started pulling your weight. Or shall I trade you in for a tailor's dummy? Charlie! Charlie! Completely bizarre, man. What does it do? This, ladies and gentlemen, is my new steam-powered universal culinary grit, grime and contaminant remover. You what? It's a dishwasher. But you always use paper plates. That's because I hate washing up. I hate the grease. I hate the froth. I hate the way the ends of my fingers go all wibbledy. A pair of rubber gloves might have been easier, man. Nothing truly great is achieved easily, Sunbeam. Now shut up and chuck us that lump hammer. It's all grotty. Not for long. This machine will shift the muck off anything. Watch this. We place the hammer in the machine. We activate the water supply. And finally, we engage the power. Yeah! Ah, very impressive. In five minutes, that hammer will be shining. Well, that's useful. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's a pity, man. I was just getting into that. Is that it, then? All right, all done. Now, stand back and watch. Wow! Brilliant! Hey, you know what? What? I'll tell you who could do with a dishwasher. Lil! Hang on. We only know it'll get ten years' worth of mining grit off a carbon steel lump hammer. And? Are you sure it'll get her parking off a plate? Just wait till that Charlie gets home. Where the flying shuttles they got to? Mm. Help wanted, apply within. I'll park uh. him when I see him. <laughs> Ta-da! Finished. Trust me, Lil, you won't have to worry about that crockery again. Go on, then. Open it. Ah. Are they clean, then? Oh, yes. Clean. Definitely clean. I'll get a tray. A uh, bucket might be better. A bucket? I'll bucket you, Tapper. Wait, well, it just needs a few tweaks. A little adjustment here and there. Wait till I get hold of you. Look, if at first you don't succeed... Give up. <laughs> don't you get smart with me, young man. At last. And where the bashful leaves do you think you've been? I think I've been at the bottling plant, my dear Lillian, where I usually am betwixt the hours of 9am and 5pm. Why? Where do you think I've been? Oh, it's you. Last time I looked. <laughs> Who are you expecting? Charlie. You've not seen him? Uh, not for a while, no. Uh, have you misplaced him? I'm a bit worried. He might have wandered off. Charlie. No, madam, it is I, Pendle of the Yard. Oh, no. Oh, that's charming, that is. Uh, we were hoping you might be Charlie. Well, I'm not. He's turned up lost. What am I going to do without him? Well, if there's anything we can do to help. Any good at washing up? You must be joking. In that case, don't just stand there like the great useless twillip you are. Go and find Charlie. All right, all right, I'm going. Brendan, you any good at washing up? Men. Very well, young man. We'll try you out for a week. I must say, I'm glad you've come to your senses. I... Working for that common woman must have been dreadful for you. Well... I should think you're overjoyed to be somewhere refined at last. Me. Well, now, I'll get you a clean penny and we can make a start. Good morning, Ike. I wonder if you might care to assist me in my inquiries. What are you looking for? Not what, who. Who what? What, who? 
Oh, oh, stop it, stop it. I'm not looking for a what, I'm looking for a who. Charlie. What? Little's Charlie? The very same. Well, he was up here not long since. You mean you've seen him? No, but he must have been up here. Look, there's that anky of his. Ah, yes, well done. I uh, wondered when you'd notice that. <laughs> what in the name of... Aha. <sighs> right. I want all them, those meringues dusted. Properly dusted. I'll check them, you know, and mind you don't break any, or I'll feather dust you. <laughs> With my feather duster. <laughs> Told you so. Got the scent straight away. Smashing. I always knew you were half cow, half dog, but not half bloodhound. Well, of course, I've got an uncanny skill with animals. Oh, yes, the lads used to call me Doolittle of the Yard. Oh, mind that fence. Look out for the chicken coop. Not the duck pond. Not the duck pond. Very nice work, Charles. As my mother used to say, a clean meringue is a happy meringue. If you keep doing this well, I'll let you have a go at the washing up. I suppose I'd better call that woman and inform her that you are no longer available for less dignified employment in that establishment. <sighs> Hello? Bubble and Bogart? Stop. Stop in the name of the law. Don't <laughs> fight. Stop in the name of me not breaking my neck then. <laughs> Help! Hello? To whom am I speaking to? You're speaking to me. That's to who you're speaking to. What do you want? I merely wish to inform you that your Mr Charles is here. Well, what's he doing there? As it happens, he is now working for me. Working? Working? Hmm. Evidently, he prefers a somewhat more dignified employment. Dignified? Of course, one could hardly blame him. Don't you come that with me, madam. And I don't think you'll be seeing him again. Right. I think we'd better have this out. Stones may break my bones. I must give it a try sometime. Oh, very funny. I'm not surprised you're in a myth. Oh, I? And why is that? Well, I've got most of your business and Charlie. You've hardly a thing to call your own. At least I've got my teeth to call me own. And so have I. Not for long, madam. Not for long. Some people have no loyalty or refinement. I've counted the hours, the minutes, the seconds. <laughs> I always knew, always prayed you'd come home. <laughs> and here you are, and life can start again. And your life can start again with polishing them parking rollers. All my crockery wants gluing back together and repainting for tonight. And there's three dozen dirty mugs to wash. And if you ever go out that door without my <sighs> permission again, you'll get it right Is Charlie back to stay? Out. Will Nico be around to find out? Is Tapper all washed up now that his dishwasher's a washout? Find out all this and much, much less in the next viscously glutinous episode of The Treacle People. We are the Treacle People. We see treacle.